All right, Tubes, we're going to give you an update on our uh, hit and miss engine here. We've got my buddy Mike here. Hey, Mike. How you doing, Tubers? All uh, right. Mike had the block out. And uh, show him what you did over here, Mike. Step up, come on, step over here. Show him what you did. He was Mike was milling the the block out. Right, I milled it, milled a hole so he can access the camshaft, which would be inside right. of here. And what we're going to have is we're going to have this block right here. Let me get a better look at that block, Mike. That's a, that's quite a piece of machinery you built there. Look at that. Yeah, it took a while to do. <laughs> yeah, was that aluminum? Yeah, yeah. So we took that. There's going to be. This shaft is going to ride. Well, you're going to that, that block. Yeah, gonna, you're going to you're going to actually bolt that to the. Yeah, the block is going to be bolted right to the bolt right, there. right to the block, and this gear. Okay, so you're going to you're going to take that uh, your yeah, gear. We're going to take this gear. It'll be driven off with the camshaft. Right. It'll it'll go move that out of the way. It'll yeah, go through that little hole. Yeah, right through here. Right. And then through there, then uh, your pinion. Right. The uh, well, the ring will be be on this. The end. ring, right? The ring gear. And then the pinion will. We'll go up vertical there on it. And it'll go to the top of the engine. Right, above right. the engine where our governor will be spinning around. I show him what we got for the governor so far. Got uh, these one inch diameter brass balls. With, brass uh, balls. Yeah. They're, uh, they're threaded. So, uh, and then this little aluminum plate that I made. Right. The balls will be swinging out be on swinging that. Be swinging on top of that uh, yeah, right pinion about, gear. Right about there. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. And while he was out with the, the block machine in it, I was uh, beefing up the crank. See if you can spin that crank there, Mike. But yeah, that's gonna hold our uh, our wheels. Mike has the wheels at the at where he works. He's uh, okay. he's got to bore them out to to fit that, that shaft there. Right, that one and a quarter shaft. Okay, show them what you have to do with the with the gears now. Right, you gotta you gotta drill through the gears. Ah, uh, right. Um, yeah. Show, actually, show them what you did with that. That was pretty interesting. This, All right. this uh, pinion gear here was hardened. And Mike had to, uh, would you heat it up and, uh, what do they call it, annealing or something? Yeah, I had to anneal it, heat it up. Uh, and he put some set screws in the side there. Yeah, you can see where I drilled and tapped the holes there. And So now we're going to drill the center of that out to what we need. Right, we're, we'll drill it to 3 8 and that'll be the shaft size. Okay, that's cool. Cut it down and have a little bit. And we're actually going to have to do that with the, the ring gear, right? Let me see the ring gear. Yeah, the ring gear will have to do the same. That's, that's, that's just to still hard the yet. center. Right. Yeah, we got it's, all, it's all hardened. We have yet to anneal that, so. Okay. Do that. All right, so you got a uh, you got a pretty good update of what we're doing, and uh, I'll try and catch Mike while he's working on a lathe, drilling that out and stuff, just to to make a video here for you, give you some guys something to watch. And meanwhile, maybe I'll work on the the fuel tank. We're actually going to uh, incorporate the fuel tank into the base. All right, continue on, buddy. All righty. Also, while Mike was uh, working on the the case, I was uh, working on the the side cover there. To, yeah, for some reason this don't seem like it's uh, focusing but uh, I made a new side cover for it and got rid of the the other backing plate I'm ready uh, it looks like Mike is drilling out the center of this uh, pinion gear a nice sharp bit you got in there Mike yeah. and I probably didn't sharpen that one <laughs> alright what are you going to drill it out to 3 8 yeah, it's a 3 16 in there now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, be yeah, doing it first. Okay, pilot hole. Yeah. All right. Mike's got his glasses on there. I know. I think it was uh, the Grissom cat. He was concerned about it because he couldn't see him on a, the last shot, but he had him on there. We appreciate your concern there, buddy. We don't want these young bucks getting nothing in their eyes. Looks like uh, Mike's drilling through our cam here now. Drilling pretty nice. Yeah, it is. Sharp drill. It goes nice. That little piece of tape he's using there for a gauge. That way he goes in all the way as far as he wants. Look at him cut. There we go. Here's the pinion gear. He has uh, he drilled out the center of it, three eighths, and here's our whoop. Try and put this in here. One-handed. All right. 
you know, you get this, so it fits perfect in our shaft here. Now he's gonna cut this end off here. That way, uh, you set screws, you can put that pinion gear wherever he wants. Okay. All right, we got our, uh, our antique arbor. We don't have a, a press, so we use this old arbor here, but it does what we need. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna put, uh, gonna drive some brass bushings into this aluminum here. All right, go ahead, Mike, sit there where you want. All right, let me see if you can get your hand out of the way. There you go. All right, go ahead. Look at that. Look at that work, huh? <laughs> there you go. Looks right. like you're going a little further, but yeah. uh, I was holding this for you. Cool. All right. Pretty cool. All right. We're going to put the other bushings in there, and uh, we'll show you when we're done. Let's take a better look at that arbor. That's pretty cool. Look at the end here. It's almost, uh, almost rotted off. All rusted. And look, you got the cobwebs. Just pulled it out of the yard. What we got here? Number two. Greenard. Greenard Arbor Press. Pretty cool, man. That thing's, that thing's probably older than some of my engines, Mike. Mm -hmm. That's pretty big, too. Still works. Yeah. No it did what we need. All right. All right. Check us out, too. Mike is uh, heating up our bull gear there, ring gear. That's our ring gear. Because it's hardened and we got to drill it, so he's going to take the hardness out of it. Look at glasses he has on there. Look at that. <laughs> you got to make that cherry red and then let it cool down real slow. Uh, I'm going to let him do that. No sense in uh, getting cherry red already, Mike. I can't tell. Yeah, I can. Wow. I think it might be all right. We gotta get this thing orange. Yeah, it's orange. We don't want to melt it. No, you'll be able to tell when it starts melting. Wow. Yeah, that bitch is uh, pretty red, Mike. Mike, uh, we're gonna let that cool and then uh, drill it out. Oh yeah. All right, Mike is gonna he's gonna weld our uh, gear up to the shaft there. All right, go ahead, buddy. All right. Let me get around the back so I don't go blind. Oh no. Problems? Yeah. This light's making the there it is. Yeah. Wow. Thought you're only gonna attack it. Well, nice nice little donut wheel, never hurt anybody. Where'd it go? Oh yeah, yeah. It ain't going nowhere. I don't think so. That tape worked good too. It did. We don't want to hurt them. They pull tape off. Put the tape on just so I wouldn't have to clean out the gears. Beautiful. Good work, buddy. Alright. Alright, tubes. We're, we're gonna wrap it up for the day and uh, let's summarize what we did here for you. We uh, got the we put the we got a valve in here. We're, we're not gonna use a tap it, we're just gonna use it. atmosphere pressure. Atmospheric, yep, atmospheric. Yeah, that's intake. the way a hit and miss works, it just sucks the valve in. It's got a nice light spring there. Yeah, on its stroke. But we uh, we hooked the the block up on the side here. This, is, this isn't complete yet. Mike is still gonna do a little trimming on this and uh, yeah, just even it up, make it look pretty. But uh, the gear and everything that's what we wanted. That spins that and it goes over here, transfers that and goes up here to our balls, our governor balls. What else do we do, Mike? Just got the head on. Yeah, we just have the head sitting on Yeah, there. we got a couple of bushings and bearings on here. These bushings here are just going to hold this steady. We're going to attach it to the head just yeah, to hold it a little better. Yeah, there'll be another bracket coming out with, the, with this bronze bushing up. It'll sit right, right about there. This will eventually end up up here for, to adjust the spring tension. Yeah, right. This still got to be a little spring yeah. put on there. And then this collar down here is just, it'll be uh, just 
holding the shaft up so the downward force isn't on the gear teeth. It'll be on this bronze bushing down here. Right. Okay. Show them how the, the governor balls work there. They, they actually work pretty good. Yeah. They, Let me get uh, back here. Hey, look at it. The spin, just spin it real easy, Mike, and show them how easy. Barely, barely turn it and, and see the balls are going out. So they're going to work good. Yeah. So now show, show them what happens when, when the engine's running, Mike. Well, when they're con when it's constant, they, look I mean, they, 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 they spring holding them back, they'll, right. they'll fly right off of there. Yeah. But, uh, that's where the, that's where the turn balls to the walls come from. Right. So that's uh, that's what we got done today. We still got a lot of work to do. We 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 spent a good uh, eight ten hours on this one. Oh yeah, yeah. It it takes a lot longer than people think. Yeah. It's a lot of a lot, a lot of, lot of, of machining. Everything on here is machined and and fit and everything. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. All right, so that's where we stand with that. It maybe maybe another week or two before we get another video up because we still have a lot of machining to do. Mm -hmm. A lot more stuff to go on there, so that's where we're at now, tubes. As a matter of fact, I still have to make the gas tank and the base for this, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. a lot more stuff to do. So, yeah. all right, say goodbye, Mike. All right, see you later, tubers. All right, tubes. Talk to you later.